Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diane, but if you're new here, you can call me D. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this really festive cranberry monochromatic look. I already did two holiday looks that are a little bit more typical and smoky glam, but if you wanna play with color and do something a little bit more outrageous, um, and you wanna learn how to get this really polished but still fun creative makeup, please keep watching and I'll show you how. We're gonna start the look with our brows already on. So just like last video, I did them and I carved them out with some Benefit Cakeless Concealer. My skincare has also been applied, so it's just going to sink in as we're doing our makeup. And that way, when we're ready to apply our skin makeup, it's already plump, fresh, and prepared. Um, if you wanna do your face makeup first, that's, that's you boo. Uh, do as you see fit, but I'm gonna start with my eyes, especially since it is a bit of a more dramatic look. Um, I also applied my eyeshadow primer and as always I'm using my 24 hour eyeshadow primer from Smashbox. Now, into the nitty gritty, this is the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette and it is stunning, honey. I live. Um, and we're just going to get into the tutorial because I'm rambling entirely way too much. I'm grabbing a big fluffy 224 MAC brush and I'm just going to start dipping into this lovely terracotta-y, orangey, nudie color and I'm just going to throw that directly into my crease. So in our crease and above we're just blowing it out, smoking it out. This is our transition color. It's going to facilitate all of our blend with those other super intense reds. Um, I don't want a harsh line, I just want it to be really diffused. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So once you're happy with your first transition color, um, I'm just going to go into this flesh shade here. It's like a nice off-white, pinky-wikey, pinky-wikey. I'm going to keep drinking that coffee. Um, I'm just going to take this with a dome-shaped brush from Smashbox that I always use to apply my highlight. I'm just going to pat this underneath my brow setting that concealer but also facilitating our gradient and then going back in with that big fluffy brush and pulling the color on top just melting those two lines fusing them together Voila, quelque chose comme ça. Now we're going to go into our pops of color, Stoked. A really lovely cranberry color. And I'm going to take this on a MAC 217 brush, like a generous amount. And I'm going to start patting and packing this on the outer corner. And I'm throwing it lightly into the crease as well. So I'm just pretty much color blocking this entire section. Damn, that's bright. <laughs> Going back in with our first 224 MAC brush and just softening the two. See how it did just melt nicely together? I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Um, it's looking a little pinky, like it's pretty, but it's pinky and I don't want it pink. I want it to be red and burgundy. So I think I'm going to deepen it up, moving on to this deeper Merlot kind of color. And I'm using the same MAC brush. And I think I'm going to do the exact same placement that I just did on top. I think that's going to give me the richness that I'm looking for. Thank you. 
pretty. It's getting there, it's getting there. I'm taking my finger to apply this majestic color over here. And in my experience, because I have a couple of these little Obsessions palettes, they're great. I love them. I cannot stop recommending them. Um, the little shimmer shades, they're best applied with a finger. It doesn't work as well with a brush. And I'm just going to pat and tap on the rest of my lid. She's festive. <laughs> that is beautiful, wow. I haven't played with that color yet and I'm not disappointed I did. If I'm not getting it too perfect and um, neat in the inner corner, it's fine. I'm actually gonna do a different, lighter, brighter color there as an actual highlight. Um, but I really want this to catch that light and bring that texture to the look. So I'm just gonna diffuse that pigment by taking my fluffy Smashbox brush. There's nothing on here. I'm just using whatever is already on my lid to be slightly diffused. Getting rid of any of those harsh lines. I'm really just concentrating this on the inner corner, just unifying it to the transition that we laid down. Just so it doesn't look like it came out of nowhere. I want it to make sense and blend together. Especially such a intense, eye-catching color. Do it. Play with color, have fun, get out of a comfort zone. Just apply it and blend. Okay, I love this, but I still need more depth and I still need more contrast. So I'm going in with my main squeeze ColourPop palette and I'm taking the color Red Bottoms. It looks brown, but like it's a dark brown. <laughs> and it has that nice like cherry wood brown undertone. I don't know how to explain this. I'm not really like, doing a good job. Again, MAC 217 brush, the same brush we've been using this entire time and just patting this on the outer corner. Ever so lightly and gently feathering it in on top of that pigment. Again, just really marrying the two together so you don't see where it begins and where it ends, but it does pull that depth we're looking for. More depth, so I'm using my Chanel Stilo Zir Waterproof Contour Désir Long Tenue in Eros 928 928. And I'm going to line my upper lash line with this. Just that little something something. I'm going to go back into my Huda palette. I'm gonna take this shade. I haven't touched it yet. Very beautiful like red, pinky, gold, red shift. It's very magical. I'm very excited to use this. I'm gonna go against what I just said and take a smudger brush from Real Techniques. See like it's just, it doesn't pick up the pigment as well. We're gonna try anyways. Just gonna lightly press and tap on top of that pencil eyeliner we just laid down. Yeah, it's a little deeper, subtle difference, but there is a difference nevertheless. Cool, so for now I think that's it for the eyes. I'm gonna clean up my fallout, do my face makeup, and I will come back to continue the look with you guys. Okay, I said I would do my face off camera, but I also realized I'm gonna do something different than my like regular routine. So I figured I would film it because it does look different and I'm gonna get questions perhaps. So 
Um, as always, I did my bronzer and my foundation. That's always the same. I'm just changing up my uh, highlight and my blush today. So instead of using my Kitten eyeshadow, no, Kitten Heaven's Hue from Stila, it's that champagne color. Um, it looks dead because it is dead. I use the crap out of this product. It's like a putty and I hit pan. Beautiful pale champagne that looks good on a lot of people. Um, but this is Luminescence, which is a bit more like a pinky shift, like rose gold pinky shift. It's stunning. Um, so I'm going to do that today instead, and I'm just going to apply this with the butt of my beauty blender. Like a generous healthy amount. And I'm just going to pounce this pretty much everywhere. See how it gives it that beautiful shift to the skin? I love it. I'm obsessed. If you don't want a pink highlight, obviously you can do like whatever colored highlight you want. I'm just going for kind of like a nice monochromatic reflection in the skin through the eyes. But if you don't want to go this crazy, which is completely understandable, no problem. You do whatever you're comfortable with why i love this product so much for multiple reasons but one of them is the fact that it doesn't show texture i can and i do use this on women mature women mature clients who are like 60 and older and it doesn't show wrinkles and texture it just makes your skin look wet and healthy and plump and juicy and moist i have a lot of acne a lot of acne scarring a lot of dehydration and i'm getting fine lines too like i'm not Super young, I'm 29, um, but I refuse to give up highlight. So I love this texture. It photographs like a dream as well. Not enough good things to say about it. Stila A1. You could just leave it there. We're not going to though. At least I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna take my palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the glow kit. This one is in Gleam. This is old AF, do you guys remember this? I'm going to be taking this rose goldy color again. It's called Hard Candy. So same color, just in a powder format. I'm just going to rub that pretty much everywhere again. Serving you some serious sugar Plum fairy realness. Okay, I like it, I like it. Um, for blush, I think I'm just gonna go in with Orgasm from NARS. Again, pinky, goldy, naturally, flushy kind of color. Not flesh, flush. Like, is she wearing blush? Did you just pay like $30 for nothing? But it's just that nice soft subtleness. Loving it. And that for now, I think is it for skin. I'm gonna hose my face down in some setting spray. It has been no snowing non-stop so i just want to waterproof my face as much as possible that's why we're the 24 hour full coverage matte foundation from smashbox because that shit is very good at not moving and this is the makeup forever mist and fix setting spray the reason i'm using this is because um it's almost empty and my smashbox pump and my urban decay pump broke so i want to finish this so i can pour those two into this bottle and hopefully this pump doesn't freaking break on me Okay, I'm gonna do actually eyelashes after I do my lower lash line. Um, I figured I wanted to do like a full on blown smoky cranberry look. So if you wanna leave it here and just do lashes, that would be super pretty. Um, I'm gonna take it a step further. And I'm going back in with that Chanel pencil that we used um, earlier on our upper lash line. And I'm just going to mimic this on the lower lash line. It's really hard to find a good uh, red eyeliner. There's not a lot of companies that make them, I find. 
And not only that, but it doesn't irritate eyes because red, red pigment is normally what people react to. Um, these Chanel pencils are so beautiful. They're nice and creamy, so they don't pull and tug like on your skin as you're applying them, but um, they're not so creamy that they like travel everywhere and get super messy. Um, very nice formula, very nice product. And I'm just going back now with that 217 MAC brush we were using for all of our depthy, contrasty applications. And I didn't take any product, it's just whatever's left over. I'm just gently running this on top of that eyeliner to smoke it out and diffuse it. You can take this as low as possible, as low as you want. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go in with my kitten eyeshadow from Stila. This is like on its last legs. Um, <laughs> on that Smashbox highlighter brush that I always use. I'm just gonna pop this on the inner corner just to bring a little bit of light in here. I think I'm gonna do some glitter. I mean, it is the holidays, right? <laughs> So some Kitten Karma Glitter and Glow glitter from Stila. I'm just going to tap that Kitten Karma on top of that kitten. Again, it's like one of their star colors for multiple products. And I don't regret it because I freaking live for kitten. And I'm just patting that into place. Just a nice little soft twinkle, you know? Um, now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, put on my fake eyelashes. I'm gonna try a new pair that I bought. They were recommended by another beauty pro, Acacia and Tia. Um, these are the Honey Lash Beauty in Moola. Dollar sign, Moola dollar sign. So, smooth I don't know. Anyways, they're beautiful. I'm gonna trim them and apply them and do my hair, change, make myself look human, and I will be back to do lips with you guys. Okay, we're looking a little bit more human and polished and put together. These eyelashes are the most insane pair I've probably ever put on in my life. And um, they're very comfortable. So quite impressed. We'll see how they wear throughout the day. I have a nine hour day at work. So I want to do a long lasting lip. And today I'm gonna be using Le Stilo Lèvres, the lip liner Rouge Dahlia 24, numero 24 Rouge Dahlia from Gatlin. Um, Yeah, just apply your lip liner. <laughs> And I'm going in with Vino Noir, the always on matte lipstick from Smashbox. Uh, the ones that have like a chrome cap are actually a liquid metallic matte lipstick. Um, so they are matte, but they, are, they do have a metallic finish. And I'm gonna go in with some Huda Beauty Lip Topper. This one is in Shameless M49. Um, it was in the lip kits, like the ones that literally look like a lip. Um, and they had the lip liner, the liquid matte lipstick, and then a lip topper in that set. They were awesome. Um, and this one was in the red lip kit. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my brush. These are so magical. I'm just going to tap this on the center of my lip, watch. Mmm, that color. It just gives it that little extra something something and it makes my lips look bigger again because we have that nice highlight in the middle of them. Um, yeah, I think that is it for the finished look. I think I tight lined my waterline and I forgot to mention it so I'm just mentioning it now um, as always it's the Smashbox always on gel liner in fishnet and I just do that real quick and yeah I think that is the final look it's pretty monochromatic but I really really dig it and I'm living for my hair I went to see my lovely hairdresser Jen um, if you live in Montreal go to unlisted on Saint Laurent Boulevard um, she's fantastic and the entire team is great 
And yeah, I'm feeling myself. It's Friday. It's Christmas next week. I hope you guys have finished your Christmas shopping and you're all ready to relax and have some fun and just be surrounded by good company, whether that's family or not. Um, I just hope you have some uh, time to yourself and some peace and some happiness and joy. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!